We just made this super simple six bottle wine holder for like 10 bucks. And we'll show you how we did it right now. What is up? Welcome back. Do you like to do it, build it, or make it? Great. That's what we do on this channel every week. This week, we're getting into the wine business. Well, just the wine rack business. All right, well, we're just making us a wine rack because the holiday season's coming up. Yes, it's time to start thinking about holiday gifts. And I found this on Pinterest, and I think this would be a really cool gift to give someone. Pinterest, every time. I know. I You can't believe the number of hours I spend scrolling through looking for our next project. <laughs> <laughs> this is a super easy project. We need one 1x12, one not even the whole thing, and one 2x4. Again, not even the whole thing. And we did it with just two tools. Step one. First step, first tool. We're gonna use the miter saw and we're gonna make 45 degree angle cuts at 13 inches. I set up a jig so that I would just have to slide my board down and it was 13 inches every time and I would cut it at a 45 degree angle. I just made four of these cuts. Done. Step two. I get it, number two. Now that all of our cuts are made, we're gonna measure in three and one eighth inch, and we're gonna use a one and one quarter inch drill bit to drill on through. Kim decided she was gonna take over for me. <laughs> well, it was a learning curve, but I figured it out. Step three. We're gonna glue and screw these I boards together. <laughs> I love you, babe. <laughs> All right, so we're gonna tape them together first. comes in. <laughs> All right, looking good. Now I got to Put some pilot holes in there for some screws. So the screws are here and here. Yeah. Doesn't really matter, right? Aren't we going to countersink them? Yeah. And... Them, yeah. Okay. Should I screw it next? I'll screw them up now. Screw them while you got them. Screw them while I got them. Let's go this side. We got so far. Step four. I'm gonna go downstairs and cut up our one by twelve. She's gonna fill these holes. Step five. We stain everything. Everything is getting a coat of a dark walnut. Oh yeah, gloves. Gotta put my gloves on.
Okay. Wait. <laughs> Step a six. We're gonna put the rack, the Z, the zigzag on the board. To do that, we're gonna flip it over and outline it. Put it about where it goes. Yeah, so for this size board, I measured down four and a half inches so that the wine bottle kind of rests on the back. So we'll outline it. Zip the zip. Now here's the tricky part. Now we're going to put it under the board and try to hit the uh, Hit the zigzag on the underside. All right, I'm gonna put a pilot hole right in the middle. Three inch screw. I guess it helps if I have a bit in it. Slippery bit. Bam! That's what we got so far. Step seven. We're gonna add the accents. Kim's gonna throw some vinyl on there, and I'm gonna put these little uh, L brackets that we spray painted on the L parts. And what color do we use? Soft S flat iron. Soft flat iron. That's what we always use. It's our go-to. Why do I have four of them? I don't know. <laughs> it's just in case. I've made a little vinyl decal. I'm thinking I could have stenciled it too, but I made it in vinyl, so that's what we we'll use. Bam! That's what we got! Let's go throw some wine in this jam. Let's do it! If you guys like that video, hit that like button! Leave us a comment! How many bottles would you make it hold? 12? 14? 2? Let us know down below. If you're not yet subscribed, hit that subscribe button. And if you need something to watch until we do this thing again next week, we'll put something over here. <laughs> something that you'll watch. Like that one. Or that one. They're both pretty good. Check them out. We'll see you guys next week.